It's the last day of September today, and many pumpkin patches across the state are now open to the community. But with inflation now 8% higher than it was this time last year, the question is, will your pumpkin be too expensive? ABC4 Northern Utah correspondent Cade Gardner joining us live from a pumpkin patch in Weber County. And Cade, what are the prices looking like there? Yeah, Glenn, like you said, I'm in the middle of a pumpkin patch right now at Happy Pumpkin Corn Maze. And this pumpkin that I'm holding right now costs the same as it did last year, despite there being many problems. So the owners of this farm tell me that two of those problems were extreme heat and squash bugs. You can see this pumpkin is a great example of squash bugs. It didn't quite make it. And they say they lost about half of their crop due to both the heat and those squash bugs. Now, this is the third year that the McFarlands have welcomed the public to their farm. And it's all for the happy pumpkin corn maze. Blair McFarland designs all the fun attractions on the farm, and his family has grown close to 10 acres of corn for the maze, as well as two acres of pumpkins for people to pick. But like I said, they lost nearly half of those pumpkins due to heat and squash bugs. And over the last year, they've also seen fertilizer double in price, as well as other chemicals increase by 70%. But you wouldn't know it again because they've kept their prices the same this year. When you see people happy and people are excited to come, it is worth it. And I have workers who just love to be here. <laughs> and so, yeah, it makes it worth all of it. Now, the farm is open to the public for about a month and a half during the season, but the family designs and builds all of these attractions that you see behind me, and that is a job that keeps them busy year-round. Reporting live in Weber County, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.